As you already know, regular heartbeats occur when the sinus node conducts an electrical signal down to the atrioventricular node. Further, this electrical signal goes down to the bundle of his and Purkinje fibers. The result is the contraction of the ventricles and pumping of blood from the heart to the arteries. Normally, rhythmic contraction of entire heart is initiated and maintained by the single pacemaker, the sinus node. Therefore, it is primary pacemaker. In addition, there are other special regions throughout the heart when myocardial cells have normal, intrinsic ability to initiate impulses by automaticity. They include multiply sites in the right and left atria, atrioventricular junction, and specialized conduction system of the ventricles. These cells are called latent or subsidiary pacemakers. So, as a primary pacemaker, sinus node inhibits latent pacemakers by faster rate and over dry suppression. For explaining this, let's remain how action potential works in pacemaker cells. Action potential of pacemaker cells is responsible for pacemaker properties, no matter it primary pacemaker as sinus node or latent pacemaker like a V node. It starts from phase 4, so-called slow spontaneous diastolic depolarization. Unique feature of pacemaker cell that conditioned by IF channels, where F means funny. The threshold for activation is around minus 60 mV. These channels are activated by hyperpolarization. That means when the membrane potential becomes more negative. Why usually activation by depolarization is a common feature of many cardiac membrane channels. This is the way why this channel is called funny, because it is activated by hyperpolarization. IF channel is coded by specific gen. Hyperpolarization activated cyclic nucleotide gated gen or HCN gen. When the repolarization of previous action potential reaches minus 60 mV, funny channel open. IF channels responsible for a slow, mixed sodium potassium inward current, but mostly the sodium. Positive sodium and potassium ions enter the cell and the membrane becomes less negative. When the spontaneous diastolic depolarization reaches the minus 40 mV, L-type voltage-gated calcium channel open and phase 0 starts. Therefore, calcium goes inside the cell that causes upstroke of action potential or depolarization. Phase 1 and 2 that are present in action potential of working myocardial cells in case of pacemaker action potential are absent. So the next phase after zero phase in pacemaker cell is phase 3, so called repolarization, that is characterized by inactivation of L type calcium channel and activation of efflux potassium channel. Potassium ions leave the cell and membrane becomes more negative. When it reaches the minus 60, IF channels again activate. Phase 4 starts and all cycle repeats. Also cell has sodium-potassium exchange pump for recovery the ion concentration after action potential. The sodium-potassium exchange pump transport 3 ion of sodium outside the cell and 2 potassium ion inside the cell. Both sodium and potassium movements occurs against concentration gradient and requires energy, derived from splitting adenosine triphosphate. As a result of sodium-potassium exchanger work, three positive sodium ion leave the cell, membrane becomes more negative. This outward movement of positive charges results in outward membrane current, designated IP. IP current helps to restore negative membrane potential. The activity of sodium-potassium exchange pump is controlled by intracellular sodium concentration. Also pacemaker cells have sodium-calcium exchanger, or NCX, that moves one calcium ion outside the cell and three sodium ions inside the cell. As we already know that sodium is extracellular ion, 
so sodium concentration outside the cell is higher than inside. Therefore, sodium ions move inside the cell by concentration gradient that lets go calcium outside without splitting ATP for energy. This exchanger generates NCX current. In the normal heart, the intrinsic rate of impulse initiation in sinus node is faster than in latent pacemakers. The velocity of sinus node intrinsic rate conditioned by faster work of funny channels. There is a difference in intrinsic rates among different pacemaker cells in various regions of the heart, which is called hierarchy of pacemakers. Because the sinus node has the fastest intrinsic rate, the latent pacemakers are excited by propagated impulses from the sinus node. In this case, impulse from the sinus node achieves and cause action potential of latent pacemaker earlier than its own funny current achieves the threshold and initiates their own automatic impulse. Not only faster rate of sinus node leads to inhibition of latent pacemakers, but also the spontaneous diastolic depolarization of latent pacemakers is actually inhibited when cells are repeatedly depolarized by the impulses from the sinus node. This phenomenon called overdry suppression. Even at normal sinus rate, a latent pacemaker is driven faster than its intrinsic rate. It means more phases zero per unit of time that in case its own pacemaker rhythm. It means in one minute cell obtain more calcium ions that in case its own rate. This additional calcium goes out by the work of sodium calcium exchanger that increases sodium concentration inside the cell that in its turn lead to increased activity of sodium potassium exchanger. Sodium potassium exchanger generates more powerful IP current that hyperpolarizes cell membrane and increases maximal diastolic potential. In this case, spontaneous diastolic depolarization needs more time for achieving the threshold potential for initiating zero phase of intrinsic pacemaker activity. As a result, high IP current inhibits spontaneous diastolic depolarization. When overdry stimulation ceases, for example in case of sinus arrest, regular action potential doesn't occur. So there is no additional calcium during zero phase, but the sodium potassium pump keeps generating increased IP current to remove excess of sodium who's from previous stimulation. Pacemaker depolarization is suppressed by decreasing of spontaneous diastolic depolarization slope. When excess of sodium is removed, activity of sodium potassium exchanger decreases. and spontaneous diastolic depolarization slope comes back to basal level. This additional time for elimination excess of sodium explains quiescence period between rapid sinus stop and ectopic rhythm arising. But vast majority of latent pacemakers have sodium-dependent action potential phase zero, and sodium that enters the cell during the phase zero is primary source of intracellular sodium. Normal sinus rate causes increased amount of sodium per unit of time inside the latent pacemaker cells. High concentration of sodium increases activity of sodium potassium pump above its basal level. Sodium potassium exchanger generates more powerful IP current that hyperpolarizes cell membrane and increases maximal diastolic potential. In this case, spontaneous diastolic depolarization needs more time for achieving the threshold potential for initiating zero phase of intrinsic pacemaker activity. As a result, high IP current inhibits spontaneous diastolic depolarization. When overdry stimulation ceases, for example of sinus arrest, regular action potential doesn't occur, so there is no additional sodium during zero phase but the pump keeps generating increased IP current to remove excess of sodium who's from previous stimulation. Pacemaker depolarization is suppressed by decreasing of spontaneous diastolic depolarization slope. When excess of sodium is removed, activity of sodium potassium exchanger decreases, 
and spontaneous diastolic depolarization flow comes back to basal level. This additional time for elimination excess of sodium explains quiescence period between rapid sinus stop and ectopic rhythm rising. The duration of pause between fast sinus rhythm and rising of latent pacemaker depends on heart rate before the pause. The faster heart rate means more zero phases per unit of time, therefore greater sodium concentration inside the cell, that lead to more active sodium-potassium exchange pump and more powerful IP current, that cause more strong hyperpolarization. And in case of overdrive termination, lead to more time of sodium potassium pump work for elimination of sodium excess and recovery of SDD. As a result, in case of faster previous rate, pulse will be greater. By the way, sinus node also can be overdrive suppressed with the same mechanism by faster rhythm, such as atrial tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, or flutter. If you like the content, press like, subscribe to our Telegram and YouTube channel, and have a good day! Here we go.